Now, I've never actually hunted past this bridge right here for moose. The furthest we've gone is right to this point, and we took down our huge five right here, but I've never hunted down here for moose. I may have picked up a couple of zones along the way, but I've only really hunted that area for black bear and white tail. Well, we got our first deer down there. It's a good white tail buck, but then there's also a bull moose right there at about 300 yards out from us. Now, there should be a couple of big bull moose in this area, because last time we were here, we took down two big level fours. So since this buck is trotting right towards this bull, there's another bull right there. As a matter of fact, look at that. Um, but we're going to go for a shot first on this buck here at about 315 out. And dropped him right there. Nice shot. There's a small bull there. I don't know if he's going to take off just yet, but we'll see if we can't hit a hard shot. Oh my God, we did. Oh, that was nice. That was very, very nice. There is another bull there, and then there's another cow right there. So we're going to pass up on those. But we aren't going to pass up on this buck. No, we're not. That'll take him down there. All right, let's pick him up. Beautiful buck, 181, doubling them at 160 yards on the walk there. Great, great buck down. And we got our bull moose laying right here. Let's take a look at him and see how good our shot was with the AR-308. Straight to the heart, 280 yards, dead center, perfect heart shot. Not a very big bull, 81, but what a heck of a shot. And our buck is right here, 171. Got him on the walk at 313 yards. Made a nice double lung shot on him it appears our cow is still sitting here and we are not getting any eyes on those big bulls i know they got to be around here somewhere and i know they're a lot bigger than just that three that we saw before so there's a cow there oh there we go that's a decent bull out there at about 250 yards good size level three we'll go for him as well and see if we can't catch the heart got it perfect shot and he's down right there all right here's our bull down he was a solid looking bull for a level three it's gonna be a 180 and holy what a shot double long hard shot there 222 yards but a great looking bull Ooh. we will however spend a lot of time looking for a buck like that right there holy 220 plus on that buck out there and he's about 300 yards i'd say he's about 315 right there that's a shot that is definitely a shot we'll hold for just on the top of the heart and get ready for this shot here beautiful shot and he dropped right on the spot i'd honestly like to have been just a hair lower on that shot before we squeeze the trigger but you know what it still should be mid to upper lung a couple of does taken off there because this one only had two bucks in one was the one trivial and one was this guy here. Take a look at the blood. Looks like we did in fact make a nice shot. Yes, we did. 314 yard double lung shot and a 237 on that buck there. Definitely our biggest buck of the hunt. You can see how we were a tad bit higher than what I would have liked, but you know what? Still got a double lung shot at 315 and it's a great looking buck. Well, we got eyes on a decent bull trotting through right there. And he's going to come out somewhere around probably 80 yards out from us. There he is right there. As a matter of fact, you can see his rack. He's not a giant, but he's a decent bull. Real decent bull. About 80 yards right there. Um, I'm thinking that he'll probably go down to the bottom there and feed. And so if that's the case, we might be able to just sneak up on him. Get in range to about 60 and go for the shot. I mean, yeah, we could go for an 80 yard shot, but definitely not while he's walking. Yeah, no, he's definitely going somewhere else. Nope, he's not. <laughs> I literally just said he might be going somewhere else. Actually, I said he's definitely going somewhere else. And then he holds up right there and starts feeding. Okay, so he's about 130 out, and we want to get to roughly 80 yards for the shot. All right, so we're closing in on the 100-yard mark here. And so basically, we just need to get about 20 yards closer. If we get to 80, we are definitely going to let one fly. But there's our bull right there at exactly 100 yards. Now, he should be roughly a 170, 180s bull. So he's a good looking bull. And I'm going to be pretty pumped if we can make this happen. 
All right, guys, there we go. He's basically 80 yards right there. So we'll zero in for 80 and let one fly. Here we go. We're going to draw back 93. I want to zero in for 88. That should be perfect. Perfect shot. He's absolutely smoke, guys. Oh, man, that was perfect. Let's get over there and go take a look. It almost seemed like we dropped a tad bit low. But in reality, that's where the vitals were. Because he was so broadside that the lung and heart was a little bit pushed back behind that shoulder. And so when we drop low, it pretty much sunk right in there perfectly. There you can see, nice vital hit. He is not going to go very far. In fact, we watched him run down over here. And here he is, piled up about 60 yards away. All right, let's pick him up and have a look. Double lunged him at 94 yards. He's going to be a 180 scoring bull. Take a look at that shot there. Oh my God, was that an epic, epic shot. You're talking broadhead there. You're slicing the side of the heart and getting double lung from that angle there. So we absolutely made a perfect shot on that bull. Beautiful, beautiful shot. 93 yards and smoked him. All right, guys, so we got eyes on another bull out here. It's a decent three, but if you look closely right behind that three, there's something back there that has a nice looking rack. Oh, well, apparently it's another three. <laughs> or is that the same three? Nope, it's another three. He just stepped out right there. About 280 yards out from us. And there we go, guys. He's stepping out. Let's find out what it is. It's a good size level three. Holy, look at how many bulls we have. One, two, three, four bull moves here. And this bull is coming right towards us. It's actually going to stop right there. We may have to go for a shot on this bull as well. Is that a three? It is a three. So we definitely want to get this bull. But it's going to be a very difficult shot to pull off a pretty much straight on angle. Especially the fact that we're talking about 125 yards on this bull here. Oh, he's hit, he's hit, he's hit. But we got to get over here on this bull. I don't know how good that bull's hit. Oh, they actually might not even spook. Hold up. They're not even going to spook. Okay, change the plans. We got plenty of time to get a nice shot on this bull. He's about 280 out there and... I think we dropped a little bit too low. Oh my God, we messed up that shot. But good thing is we got our bull with the bow, guys. Bulled off 120 yard shot and we got that bull because we got hunting pressure. All right, so we got some really good blood here from our bull. And I don't know which way he ran. 25% medium. Oh, there's our bull down right there. Yeah, he went about 80 yards and piled up, but let's find out what we hit. Maybe liver? I honestly don't know. No, we actually did get lung and intestine. All right, so our bull was definitely standing right here. Probably in the water, which is why we're not seeing any blood. But the last place we spotted him is over here. So we're going to go over there and look for blood. Yeah, it's not looking too promising here. I mean, the good thing is it's pretty open. So we'd be able to see him if he was piled up here somewhere. There's a moose. Not the one that we're looking for. But it is a moose. So let's look at what we just found, you guys. I was seconds from turning the tracks back on to try and find it. And I looked down and I found this little fur ball right there. Look at that. Look at that. That's our bull. We found him. Heck yeah. No tracks at all. And we pretty much just stumbled upon him by finding his butt sticking out of this uh, fir tree right here. <laughs> but here's our bull down. Let's see how we did. Ended up getting a right lung shot at 276 yards. Pretty epic shot. We were just a little bit far forward again, but a 184.90. Holy, now that is a bull. We got a 200 plus bull out there, but not only that, we got an even bigger bull right there. 
That is about a 230 plus bull right there at about 315 yards. Now he's quartering directly away from us, but I'm gonna try to sneak up within 100 yards and go for a Texas heart shot. We're gonna try and make this happen, guys. We got two bulls here, so if one spooks, we got a backup. Well, let's see if we can make this happen. I'm actually quite excited about this moment. Well, we just snuck into about 100 yards out from our big bull here, but it looks like he actually spun back around, and now he's pretty broadside, which I'm not complaining about at all, but it would have been cool to go for a 100-yard Texas heart shot. However, we got some more over here. Small bull there, a couple cows there, other cow there, and another beautiful bull there. Holy, now that is a heck of a bull. In fact, there's two big bulls out there. Or is that the same one? No, that's the same one. So that's a 190 plus, which means that's gonna be like a 230 bull. He's about 180 out right there. A little too far for a shot, but we'll try and sneak up on him. We'll definitely try and sneak up on him. However, in this case here, this bull is perfectly broadside, 100 yards out right there. We're gonna draw back, zero in for about 95. Um, give me 95, come on. 97 will actually work. The only problem is this cow just stepped over right in the way of our shot. Come on, cow, move. Move, cow, seriously. I'll have to go right over the top of that cow and hit that bull. Watch this. Oh my god, that was so cool. And we absolutely smoked that bull. Watch this. He's going down. He is going down. He's going to tip over right there, you guys. How epic was that? Seriously. Right over the top of that cow. The arrow arced right in there perfectly and sunk right over her back into the lungs of this big bull moose. That was probably one of the coolest bow shot moments we've ever had of all time in Call of the Wild, right there. <laughs> like, wow. There he lays. There he lays right there. Now, in this case here, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a shot until we get super close to this bull. But we happen to have a cow right here, 100 yards from us. So that's going to make for a very difficult situation to try and close the distance on this bull. Which right there happens to be... Uh, it's hard to tell. I'd say like 119. No, nah, he is 130. Yeah, he's like 130 out there, so... Oh, I forgot about this bull, you guys! Totally forgot about this bull! So we got that bull there. This bull, if we take a shot on him... He shouldn't spook... Our other bull, but... It appears that the more right we go... The less visibility of this bull we're gonna have. There's a decent three there as well, really decent three. But there's our bull there. Oh, well, we got him about 100 yards right through that tree there. Well, there's a couple of small bulls right there, but it appears our big bull did in fact move, and that's him right there by that cow. We are less than 50 yards off from this cow here, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and focus on taking a shot on this bull here at about 115. The wind is perfect. We're going to try and hold for center lung there and arc one right in there at about 115. And I'm hoping that our other big bull doesn't spook. But let's see... If we can get zeroed in for about 110, that's pretty good to me. I'll take that all day long. Hold a tad bit high. Arc that right in there. Oh, it looked beautiful to me. It looked absolutely money to me. Holy, look at that bull. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. He's down, baby. Woo! Another epic, epic shot. 115 yards. Arced it right in there perfectly and smoked him. And our other big bull. And even spook. There he is right there. As a matter of fact, we're about to get a shot. 
If this cow can calm down for a couple seconds, we're about to get a shot on this bull. So right here, basically, our cow, this cow is about 100. That means that bull is 100 as well. All we gotta do is zero in for 100. Hold a tad bit to the right and be able to let one fly on that bull. So can I get zeroed in for 100? 76 is not good enough. 104. Okay, we'll go for 104 and hold low. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It looked good. Oh my god. We freaking shot the cow. We freaking shot the cow. Oh, what did we just do? Oh my god, we shot the cow. She was angled the exact same as our big bull. So we couldn't tell which one. <laughs> but there he is. There's our bull. There's our big bull, guys. Holy, there's our big bull. Look at the size of that bull. Oh my god, he's coming in. He's actually coming in. So, in this case here, what we might try and do is put out a call. <laughs> I can't believe we just smoked a cow. <gasps> Holy, what the heck just happened? Oh man. All I know is this big bull is definitely coming this direction. Holy. Look at him sitting out there. Urgh. Urgh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, here we go. Here he comes. Oh, he's holding up out there at about 80. Oh, he's turning broadside. That'll be a shot. If I can pull back, it'll be a shot. Perfect shot. Drilled him right through the front shoulder and he is hammered. He's going to go down right there. Still going. He's down. He is down. Back to back to back. Huge bull moose with a compound bow at about 100 yards out. Holy, that was epic. Wow. All right. So here's the first bull that we shot. That was a good size four, I think. Smaller four. And then we smoked that other bull out here. He piled up right over there. That was the big four. And then this massive four that we just smoked over there. Um, you know what? I think they were all actually pretty big fours. All right, so in case you guys are wondering where we're at right now, we're just by the pumpkin patch here, a little bit southwest of the Lake Moitzer Lodge. And this is all pumpkin here, but we are right here in the bottom of this little bend here. We literally have moose, 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 moose. We were hanging tight right in this little pocket right here. And from here, we shot here, we shot here, and we shot back here. So yeah, excellent spot. It was around 1300 in the afternoon. Wow, a lot of action just went on and I kind of lost track of what happened because there were so many cool things that just happened. Is this a four? Yes, this is a good four. Yes, now I remember. This is our first really big four and that should be like a 215 plus there. Look at the lighting, absolutely stunning lighting there for a picture. So let's pick him up. It's gonna be a 206 goal, pulled off a 100 yard, perfect double lung shot. That was our first big four that we got there. 1,202 pounds. Pretty sweet shot indeed. Oh, now I remember that bull. There was so much action going on that I forgot what happened. That first bull that we picked up that we absolutely smoked like dead center lung was from taking the shot over the top of that cow's back and sinking it right in there and it arced right perfectly through and hit a double lung shot on that bull. That is what that bull was. All right, guys, normally I wouldn't be too proud of this, but this was actually quite interesting. The fact that this cow stepped out right in front of where that bull was, and we ended up smoking this cow instead of hitting our bull. <laughs> pulled off a 107 yard shot and pulled off an absolutely incredible shot at that. Double long heart shot. That shot was absolutely cash money, but it happened to be the cow instead of the bull. And what happened is basically, I think they did the old like switcheroo. So we ended up taking down the cow instead of the bull. And I didn't even notice. All right, so we got our second big bull down over here. In fact, there he is piled up right over there. That was a pretty sweet shot to watch it arc in there. But this bull here is the one that we took quartering away. You can see how far back we actually hit that thing. But he was quartering directly away at 114 yards. 
and we pulled off a perfect double lung shot 216 gold as well there we go oh look at the rack i actually like this a lot one side here is a sweet looking rack like our big 190 plus that we uh got we're gonna pick up next but the other side has like the rack of a 205 210 bull so it's actually a quite unique looking rack on this bull and that is pretty cool and last we got the biggest bull of all right here he's gonna be about a 220 plus a massive bull and we pull off an epic shot at about 80 yards put it right on that front shoulder and just smoked him let's pick him up it's gonna be a 214 gold pull off a 70 yard perfect double lung shot and just missed the back of the heart but a great great bull what a massive old bull indeed right there and on that note, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Boy, was that something. Being in the right place at the right time with the right bow. And wow, did we really make it happen.